At the beginning of this lesson, we learned that there are four major ABO blood groups. We have blood group A, B, AB, and O. Now, we saw the breakdown of these blood type groups in the U.S. population. But what's really intriguing is that this describes what we see on the surface of the red blood cells. When you go to the clinic, they'll tell you what, what's on your blood cell. Do you have A type, B type, A and B on your cell, or no type at all, O type? But you have two alleles for the ABO gene, two possibilities. You could be two A's or two B's or an A and a B, or you, maybe you're an A and an O, right? And depending on those combinations, together that will result in which blood type you are. I want you to tell me what the possible allele combinations are for each of these different blood type groups. I'll help you out with the first one and give you an example. To be blood type A, we could have two A alleles, or we could have an A allele and an O allele, because the O allele wouldn't produce anything, right? We get nothing, but the A allele would put the A antigen, or the A carbohydrate, on the surface of our red blood cells, because the A allele codes for the ABO protein that will make and put the A carbohydrate on the surface of red blood cells. So these are the only two possible allele combinations we could have. I want you to fill that in for these other three options here and see if you can come up with the correct allelic combinations. Separate each combination with a comma. And also remember that the order of the alleles doesn't matter.